Hello kids. Welcome to Appa ICT Pandir. Today we are going to do grade 7 ICT lesson. It is program development and it is your fifth lesson. So this is the first part of this lesson. It means first video related to this lesson. So, before go to the programming, let's learn about how to solve a problem. Decomposing a problem. So let's see here you can see a complex image, complex object. But when you de decompose it, you can de decompose it according to different different ways. First, we'll decompose according to their shape. See, there are three shapes. Again, we'll decompose it according to their background colors. So, there are four background colors. Think this complex image we solve into a simple image. As it is, when doing programming, we have different different problems. To solve the problems, we have to do programming. So, when we do programming, we have to decompose the problem into small, small pieces. Let's see how to do that. Decomposing a problem means dividing a complex problem to smaller sub-problems. Decomposing means dividing complex problem into the small sub problems. Sankir no prashnyak. Podi podi get a lower letter. Anu get a lower letter. Bedha gina yana vata apikirma. Decompose karna. Okay. So then we can easily solve the complex problem by solving these sub problems. Yes. First we divide the big complex problem into sub problems then we are going to solve the sub problems respectively finally our complex problem solved yes let's see there is a complex complex problem so what we are doing is we are going to divide that complex problem into sub problems so you can divide into one two n sub problems see by doing sub problems sub we have some advantages first one is easy to solve now we can solve the complex problem in an easy way then easy to understand yes some problems are difficult to understand yeah so, when we decompose that complex problem into sub-problems, we have to understand those sub-problems. Then it is easy to understand. Then easy to describe. Yes. It is very difficult to describe a complex one. But when it div divided into sub problems, we can explain or we can describe it very easily and also easy to analyze. Yes, we can do analysis, analyzing very easily. Let's see example. There is a mathematical operation. So when we look at this. It is just a complex one. So, what we can do is we can separate this into small, small parts. Yes. First, what we can do is we can multiply. We can multiply the What we can do, we can multiply this part. 
then the answer is 30. Second part, then 5 multiplied by 6, answer is 30. In the second step, in the second sub problem, we are going to add 30 plus 4. Now, the answer is 34. In the next sub problem, what we are doing is we are doing the division. So, finally, we got the answer 17. So, it is very easy because we divided the complex mathematical operation into three sub problems. So, we solved the three sub problems respectively. So then the complex one calculated easily. So the solution is 70. Yes. Now you can go to your workbook. Let's discuss activity 5.1. Activity 5.1. Decompose the following problem into several parts and fill in the blank using mathematical relations in order to solve the problem easily. So, there is the same problem and solved in different different ways. But the solution is same. We, get, we have to find the best way to solve the problem mathematical problem problem you have to do a correction uh, 5 plus 1 upon 2 multiplied by 8 in that question you have to pre-correct it like this way okay yes first part you have the answers 3 multiplied by 8 5 plus 6, 24 divided by 4. So, what is the best way to solve the problem? Yes. First one, best way is to multiply 3 by 8. The best way is to multiply 3 by 8. Yes. Now, the answer is 24. Now the answer is 24. Then what we can do? 24 divide by 4. Next one is 24 divide by 4. Now the answer is 6. Final step is, final sub problem is 5 plus 6. Answer is 11. This is the first part of the first question. Next one. Yes. What is the best way? Yes. 1, 2, 3. Those are the sub problems. So, first, what we can do is we can divide the 8 by 4 this is the first sub problem divide 8 by 4 then the answer is 2 then the answer is 2 then we can do what we can do is we can multiply 3 by 2 then multiply 3 by 2 then the whole answer is 6. Whole answer is 6. Then the final step is 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6. However, you have the one solution that is 11. Third one, third part of the first question. 
here what we can do is first we can divide 3 by 4 we first we can do 3 by 4 divide 3 by 4 then the answer is 0 0.75 next we can do e we can multiply 7 point, 0 0.75 by 8 then the answer is 6 finally last step is 5 plus 6 answer is 11 right however you will got same solution in three ways That is the example for decomposing a problem. See, a one problem you can decompose in several several ways. So, according to the person, it may be vary. However, when you decompose a problem, it is very easy to understand. It is very easy to solve. It is very easy to describe and very easy to analyze so decomposing some problem is very easy one when you decompose a problem easy problem you can develop a program easily so today we learned about how to decompose a problem in the next video we will learn flow charts and algorithm i think in grade 6 lesson for you is for flow chart and algorithm so to continue this lesson you must have the knowledge of flow chart and algorithm well so i am recommended you to go and watch my videos related to flow charts and algorithm you can easily find them in my playlist grade 6 ict english medium playlist so then go and find the videos later to fifth lesson algorithm and flowchart we will again meet with a new video use of flowcharts to represent algorithm so if this video is useful for you please comment and share with your friends thank you